on my way to work to uh, go test the underwater generator system. Hard day at work. I just drilled my first three inch hole with my brand new drill bit that I got from Amazon. Um, the trick to drilling these holes, now this isn't like a five gallon pail. It's much thinner and it's more of a rubberized plastic than a, than a hard plastic. So it's a little different to drill this. I've noticed that uh, if you go really fast and don't push very hard, you get a better cut. And just let the drill bit do the cutting and don't force it. It kind of melts the edge down and this one popped right out. It, uh, I didn't have to do any prying or anything. The smaller bits, like this one that I'm using for the sides, probably an inch and a half or so, it requires you to stick a screwdriver in the hole after you get a couple of them built up in there and pop them out. So only uh, what, 70 something buckets left to go? <laughs> That's where I'm at. So I've removed all the handles from the barrels from the buckets, and now I'm just punching holes in the bottom of it. I have an assistant right now, which is pretty cool. So I'm just centering it up, firing it up. And they come right off. You just have to be really cautious because these bits are kind of sharp. And uh, it doesn't take anything. The hardest part about this is lifting and setting the drill down because it gets heavy after a while. And like that, that's it. It's just that simple, just that quick. Ah! Anybody that's already completed, uh, you know, any of these projects, you know what I've just done. Oh my God, and that was just the bottom holes. So I have several thousand holes to continue drilling. Um, so that's why I'm just doing this a little bit at, at a time. Well, I got my bag delivery yesterday. Uh, I just didn't have an opportunity to open it until now. This is the two gallon bag, which is a little bit too small for this size bucket, but I had her send me a sample. She was very nice about that. And so now I will check the bags that I actually ordered. Ooh, these have handles. What? What? I got the wrong damn thing here. What the hell did I get? They sent me the wrong damn ones. This is 20 gallon. They sent me 20 gallon ones. What is this? Oh my goodness. Really seriously? Uh, well, I was excited up until that point. Okay, time to give them a call. I was able to reach Carla at AM Leonard where I bought the bags, which is a uh, company that Larry Hall referred on his Facebook page or on the Rain Gutter Facebook page. And she was quite kind and apologized for the error and is getting me new bags right out. Uh, I'm going to drill a test hole in a spare piece of pipe that I have. Um, as you know, I drilled the three or two and seven eighths inch holes in the bottom of the buckets. Now I'm gonna drill a two and three quarter inch hole in the pipe because these baskets are tapered uh, I think that that's going to be a really tight fit and it will seal off the opening So I'm going to give that a try see how that works out one other tip. I wanted to give you I've got three different manufacturers here of the uh, hole saws This is a Home Depot rigid This is a DeWalt that I got offline and this is a Milwaukee that I already had The part that you screw the hole saw onto has holes, the hole saw has holes in the center that keep it locked in place. Some of these fit tightly, 
but depending on the manufacturer, some of them don't work together. For instance, the rigid fits, you can tighten this uh, down on the threads and then screw the, the little keeper up. I don't know if you can see the, the two pins going up inside it. But the um, Milwaukee doesn't seem to fit as well. You can see it, it wobbles. The way you want to do this, because the teeth are so aggressive on these bits, they're made for cutting wood. And I've found a way to do it where you get a perfect hole or near perfect hole and a lot less deburring. If you drill a quarter inch pilot hole, which is generally the size, you want to use whatever size the pilot bit is on your, on your drill, which is usually a quarter inch. And uh, you drill your quarter inch holes all on center. You run this bit backwards. It takes a few seconds longer to cut the hole, but you don't get those teeth, those aggressive teeth biting into the plastic. Can you imagine doing a 10 footer or in my case, a 30 footer and having that pipe crack on one of them after you get, you've drilled all those holes. So to ensure that you don't crack or damage your pipe, I'd suggest running these like I'm going to in reverse. Uh, you know, it's, that's a trick also used if you don't have a plexiglass or Lexan bit when you're drilling that type of composite material. If you run a standard drill bit backwards, you have a better chance of not cracking your piece. So I attempted to use that um, technique here and it works. So that's uh, my suggestion for drilling pipe. I'm going to get to it now. Okay, this is how it works. I just made this simple template. I set it against the uh, rail of my holder 2x4 and just simply mark it, slide to the next one, mark it. And these will all be absolutely identical. So I'm going to have a perfectly straight line. You can do this a number of ways. Um, you can do it on a bench. As long as you clamp your pipe down, you can just lay a board up against it and do it that way. This is working for me. All right, I drilled my first hole. It's off just by a little tiny bit um, because the size of the bit is so large. So I'm going to use this metal working tool. Uh, it's a center punch. It, it's spring loaded and it just pops a little, uh, little indentation into it for the bit to find. You don't need all these fancy tools. I just use them because I have them. Um, a little bit off on your hole isn't going to make a huge amount of difference, but I'm just kind of anal attentive when it comes to that, if you haven't been able to tell that already. Okay, well, I'm going to continue on. I've got a lot of holes to drill. Okay, the pilot holes are drilled. I've marked my pipe on the inside, uh, left, center, and right. And when I remove these to clean them out, I'll be able to put them back in the same orientation in case, uh, you know, they're slightly different because of I was measuring off of the side of the board here. So anyway, that's always a good practice is to mark your pieces and put them exactly where they were when you're dealing with multiples. I'll show you uh, one of these holes. I think I can do it with one hand. How beautifully it cuts in reverse. I'll try it left handed. Keep the shadows off on it. Okay. Look how beautiful of a hole. No cleanup, really, to speak of. And getting the uh, piece out is a pain in the butt. But uh, I only have 70 some to do. <laughs> really took just a matter of minutes to drill all these holes. It went very smoothly, very minimal cleanup required. And I got some really cool little pieces to hang up um, somewhere around the garden to keep the birds away maybe.
Well, it's getting to be the end of the day. I'm blowing the pipes out. I've got everything mounted. I'm blowing it out. My little compressor is having kind of a hard time keeping up, but uh, it's all coming out the end. It's the end of my day, almost. I'm gonna cap it and maybe put some water in it. I'm using a brush on thread sealant to seal up all my threads here. I want to minimize the amount of possible leaks I can get, so we'll see how this holds water. Okay, I've marked it with tape uh, where I started filling. I'm just filling with a hose right now. I'm going to check the level of my float. Well, it's been a very long day and I wasn't able to complete what I wanted to get done, which was test the float and the float level and whatnot. But uh, I'll have to finish it up in the morning um, after I mow and uh, do all the other chores. I have to work in the afternoon. Uh, I will mention that I did have one issue here. Uh, where the joints are with this sewer pipe, it comes with a factory larger end so you don't need a coupler. And I made the error of drilling I don't know if you can see it but I drilled one of my holes I drilled a row of holes on that joint and when I picked this pipe up to lift it out of here the joint broke apart so I had to put in some couplers and uh, so I did not drill that center one out thank goodness that one I didn't lift up so it's it's been where it's been and I'm not going to move it because the joint is holding. But this one I had to repair. Anyway, uh, enough for this video. It's getting long. I don't want to bore anybody. Um, down at this end, I've got all my clean outs. Uh, I wish I would have been able to put a clean out in the center one. Uh, but And this is also set up for future gardens. So clean outs on both ends. And... I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Please subscribe, share it on Facebook, whatever you do. Um, have a good time and enjoy your rain gutter garden. And thanks for watching this video.